So let's check how to fix the problem with Kid Garden using Xbox 360 controller emulator. Okay. First thing we have to do, of course, is download both softwares. In this page, you can download White Guard and go to download Xbox 360 controller emulator in the offshore page. Okay, I recommend you to always download the last version, it's always the best one you can have. Organize everything just uh, organize and unzip everything just one folder as you prefer. And to open this, I recommend you to right click properties compatibility and leave this option marked for both softwares okay run this program as an uh, administrator for both of them here we have white knight but i already have a shortcut for both on my desktop so the first time you open uh, white knight it will probably ask you to follow some instructions to installation something like this don't forget the white knight always open in background so you will find it just here as i did right now the first time you open this, you see that Heat Garden and Heat Serials are not installed. So you just will have to use both of these buttons to install this. Once you do, you can close the program and restart your computer. Uh, did it. Once you did it, uh, you restart your computer, you can open it again. As I said, it will open as background okay and now we will connect our controller okay as i'm using a bluetooth controller so i will have to connect it by bluetooth let's check it what i have is an epega pg i forgot pg9139 okay your controller is connected hit guard uh, uh white knight is open well, let's check how our system windows recognize our controllers you go start menu you type controller and set this option set up usb game controllers you will see your controller on this list probably because i'm using a nipeg a chinese a generic gamepad uh, it figures as two gamepads i don't know why actually i just suppose that it yeah, probably because this is a generic controller so my windows recognize it okay let's hide it now to do it we come here in this option hit service config page it settings always open in the browser so your browser will open as you see here and you have a list with connected devices uh once more probably because my controller is generic we have many gamey pads here but actually i just have one connected to my computer you just identify your controller and hide it using these green options okay i already know which option i have to use to hide my controller because i'm using it to do so always when you hit the button the button hide this uh message appears and basically you have to unplug the device and plug it back okay uh did it hide both all the options for your control you can close the tab you can close your browser as you prefer we just disconnect the controller using a bluetooth controller for me it's easier i just click here turn it on again then i connect my controller again Done. my controller is connected let's check how windows recognize detect my controller as we did before start menu controller sorry guys controller set up usb game controllers hit enter we can see here that my controller is connected in fact but there is nothing appearing in this list why this is simple my controller is finally hidden as it should be so now we leave this window here and we will open uh, xbox 360 controller emulator let's check guys great uh we have the the emulator open but we have to tell white knight opa no. okay Done. we have to tell white knight white knight to don't hide to don't hide our controller for the controller emulator okay how to do it this is simple we just click in pick app and then we click in the top bar here 
you will see that the control emulator will appear in this field here okay once it's done you can minimize white knight and that's just worth using the control emulator now first thing you have to do inside here is check options virtual device check if this is installed if yes great if not please install hit guardian here must be installed we already did it before okay so let's how let's check how to get a controller here we are here in controller number one we hit add and choose identify our controller and choose it select it and then hit this button add selected device done great if this is the first time you are doing this please select your device then set his reset clear auto and just then you start to remap in your buildings okay it's important to check if your controller recognize your buildings here i'm pressing the buildings in my controller it doesn't recognize so what are you going to do i will remove because i chose the wrong one okay so if not this probably this one here add select the device will reset yes clear yes auto yes and this is already recognizing my controller. I just have to remap. I will do it fast for all for you. A bit boring this part. What to do? and that's all we save and done we have both softwares working properly okay so now let's ask how does windows recognize this controller we check here now we have a shortcut for this and you can see that windows just recognizes is uh, it as xbox 360 controller which is perfect to play any game on windows so you cannot close both of these programs if you do you will have to start everything again so we just minimize them and have fun now you can play your games guys nice. about the links i was talking before i will leave both of them on the description and i will leave also a link to have the same tutorial we have here for videos but uh the one i wrote some days ago okay you can see step by step with each detail everything on this slideshow here i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it can help i'm sure you will find your way to hide everything and play your games bye